little book. Now, I'd love you to talk to me if you're an atheist. You can't tell us at all where we've come from. Your best guess is a bang. Listen, Manchester was a big bang. Uh, what else have we had? Brighton bomb, Belfast bomb, Beirut bombs, bombs here, bombs there. Not one big bang has produced order. Tell me one Big Bang that's produced any order. Nobody who knows what they're talking about claims that the Big Bang produced order. It didn't create a net amount of order anyway. The Big Bang was the beginning of increasing entropy and disorder. It was the point of greatest total order that has been deteriorating entropically ever since. Some ordered systems still evolved, not from the Big Bang per se, but from star formation and planet formation which resulted in things like life. However, these ordered systems were produced by processes that are ultimately entropic. Life, for example, as far as we know, only arises on planets near stars undergoing the very messy, order-reducing process of nuclear fusion. And the amount of order you see in biology is very, very small relative to the amount of order that is destroyed by the processes that release the energy necessary for life's existence. Order, as best we can tell, was the default state of reality, and the expansion of the universe, which began at the Big Bang, has been reducing it rather than producing it. If we had an explosion here this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, we'd have a mess! All them buildings there be shattered, our parts would be scattered across the precinct, and yet millions of thinking people gullibly say, oh, we came from the Big Bang, they weren't there, and every other experiment we've done producing the Big Bang has caused chaos. The sun consists of countless nuclear explosions going off every second. It's chaotic in the sense that this guy probably means, yet it nonetheless produces the energy that makes the order of biology and most other orderly systems on the planet possible. Large reductions in order can produce relatively small increases in order. It just can't create more order than what it started with. Also, why is this guy wearing a Japanese naval flag? But ladies and gentlemen, you know as well as you do, I do, there's a grave waiting for you. I'm not after your vote. If you want to stick with eternal death, stay with it. But Jesus on the cross loved you enough to die for you. He loved you if you were the only person in the whole of the world who lived on planet Earth, he would still die for you. And he says, I'll forgive you. And most people say no. And Jesus says, well, stay in your death then. You ask for it, you get it. If not converting to Christianity is simply getting what I ask for, why do Christians call conversion salvation? Why are proselytizers constantly trying to save me from getting what I want? Which is obvious, but I'm giving to anybody, anybody who's a thinking rational adult. Why would a thinking rational adult want to be saved from getting what they ask for? Thanks again for helping me out on Patreon.